Proactive police action has people talking in the Twin Cities, and that includes some critics. The Bloomington Police Department hosted an open house for their new community house, a way to keep police in the neighborhoods that they say need them most. But not everyone supports the idea. Crystal Donaldson joins us live now from Bloomington. Crystal, what are they doing tonight? As you can see, things behind me are starting to wrap up at the grand opening of the community house here in Bloomington on Jefferson Street. Now this house has caused mixed th feedback between the community members and its social justice leaders. The house is located on the west side of, of Bloomington, which is known for its high crime compared to the rest of Bloomington normal area. While the intent of the house is to make the community safer, those who oppose believe the relationship between the community members and the law enforcement should improve before an officer moves in. They don't really know the community, and they don't exactly get a warm welcoming from the community. But you can't blame the community because they, they, felt, they feel left out and a lot of other issues. I think being there um, to where they can be seen and be interacted with will help especially when things happen. Um, you know, I, I, if implemented correctly, I see um, uh, positive things coming out of that. At the end of the opening, representatives from the Black Lives Matters movement of Bloomington presented a cake to the Bloomington police chief saying they now welcome the house as long as there is trust and cooperation. I'm Crystal Donaldson for 25 News in Bloomington. Back to you. All right, Crystal, thanks. Mm -hmm. There's more.